I'm gonna show you five Google websites that you probably didn't know exist, but totally should. So let's kick it off with nice and chill. And by chill, I mean Netflix and chill. You are now, you probably would have watched absolutely everything there is on Netflix and are desperately looking for something new to watch. Don't worry, Google's got you. Right, head off into Google and type what to watch. Simple as that. Google's gonna make a whole bunch of recommendation, even breaks it up into various genres. And if you click on the right hand side, you have an option to call edit services. So you can tell Google which services you actually subscribe to. And therefore it's only going to show you recommendations from the services you can actually access. Once you find a video that you want to watch, you can actually click on it and then it will tell you on the right side where you can actually watch this particular episode. And if it's a premium subscription or you need a subscription, it will even give you that information. So what goes really well with Netflix? Some food, obviously. Well, Google has you covered too. Go to Google and type orderfood.google.com. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna find all the restaurants that are within your area. Of course, you can zoom out, you can move to a different area. Now, you can choose the various types of food. I'm gonna choose Thai for this example. And let's go find a restaurant. It will give you the reviews, which is pretty nice and handy. Once you pick the restaurants, I do like this feature, which is a delivery feature, but not for right now. I want to schedule a delivery for later on. So let's go schedule a delivery for dinner, 6 p.m. Click on confirm. Great. Scroll down and I'm going to choose an option, chicken or tofu. I'm going to say no chicken. So I can give any special instruction. I can also customize any of the dishes as long as the menu has that option. So I do that and then I click on add to order and I click on checkout and ta-da, now it's going to tell me, okay, well, this is for delivery, this is at this time, and obviously if I have my address and the promo code, it will all appear there. But wait, there is more. What you can also do is schedule a pickup. Now, I don't have to pick it up myself. I can get somebody else to pick it up. I just have to give their name, their telephone number, which they can confirm, and then I can leave a tip as well. Look, we know about Google Docs, about Google Sheets, about Google Slides, Google Forms. They are seriously, seriously powerful. But are you getting the most out of them? Well, you will when you check out to this site. Right, into Google, type appliedDigitalSkills.withGoogle.com and you'll land up on the side. Teach and learn practical digital skills. So what best describes you? Are you a teacher, a student, a learner, a parent, or a guardian? Depending on what you choose, you're gonna have different options. So I'm just gonna log in as a student. I'm gonna click on Browse Lessons. It all uses the Google tools to get you this information. Did you know that Google has an epic travel site? Well, now you do. Google.com forward slash travel. This is so underrated and yet so, so powerful. Let me show you what you can do right here. So within travel, you've got explore, things to do, flights, hotels, vacation rentals. Where to next? Let's create a trip. So where are we going to? Let's just say we're going to Anaheim in LA. Which date we're we going? Let's go over Friday and we come back. I don't know. Let's come back Sunday. Okay. A weekend little trip. Click on done. I could also add another destination if I want to. So I'm not going to do that right now. Let's stick with Anaheim and click on save. And the first thing it does, it creates this little placeholder. Tells me it's the weekend and tells me what the average temperature is. The whole story with COVID, very important to keep an eye on that and floods as well. So discover Anaheim. And I dig this section. These are all the questions that people have asked around your specific area where you're trying to visit. Odds are pretty good that you've got very similar questions. Right, let's go click on the button called add to trips. And here I can add some notes, events, trains, schedule, buses, restaurants. Can I add them all to my trip? Here is my Disneyland the thing that I saved from earlier. Now, what I also do like about the travel section here is the ability to explore. Now, let's just say you have no idea where you want to go. You know, I knew I was going to Anaheim, but let's just say I have a weekend coming up sometimes with my kids, student they don't have school, and we want to do a trip away. This is a great place to do this. You go to explore, find an area, okay? And on the left-hand side, you set up your parameters. We can say, round trip, how many people, where to, where from, where do you want it? So I like this, I can plan for future. So I click on November, and are we gonna do one week, two weeks? Now nah, let's just do a weekend, click on done. And now I wanna set my price point. I'm not paying $1,500, I'm gonna pay 300 bucks. 
what can I find for $300 as ideas for me to do something in November? And you got some flights. And women within flights, they've done a great job. It basically will tell you within the flights what are the flights that are servicing that area. But when you click on price graph, well, you can immediately see the highs and the lows. You want to avoid certain weekends. You want to avoid certain high times because you'll be paying much more for your ticket. And you can click on track pricing, which basically means you get an email alert when prices drop. Brilliant. And under hotels, very, very similar. Where do I want to stay? How many people, etc. What you will pay, two star hotel, three star, four star, five star. If you want to grow your digital skills, which are so important in today's world, Google has this to offer. Head over to learndigital.withgoogle.com and this is all about your digital skills. So whether you're trying to improve your business skills, improve your interview skills, be able to get a better job, this is all about the digital online space and look at these course providers. They are from universities, from reputable teachers that Google has curated and created an online learning platform to do with your business. Go and check out this video over here where I show you some unbelievable other websites you wish you knew about earlier and check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit this little head below to subscribe. I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.